Kia ora, kia ora whanau. We're back for uh, part seven, I think it is, of our journal journey. And so deciding what kind of page we're going to do next. Um, I'm looking at doing another double spread, of course. Um, so back home, when I was on the farm, we used to ride a lot of horses. Like I rode a horse to netball and all sorts of places. I used to ride a horse for fun too as well. Um, so I was thinking of making use of this area here for another tree. Okay. So we'll just put maybe an evergreen tree. You know, just a, another tree. Let's say, uh, let's say uh, maybe a tea tree or a manuka tree. Yeah. So I want to do that and sort of keep in line with um, using these areas here as um, sort of branches to start my tree off and bring it into my picture. And I was also looking at Putting a few mounds here, you know, and uh, I'm just making sure I'm in camera. So just using, taking advantage of those areas as for our leaves, you know, so just there. Just an evergreen tree, manuka. Can do some manuka um, flowers on there as well. Um, I just want to get some branches in there first, so. Manuka flowers. So let's have a look at Manuka flowers, Fane. So there it is. That's our Manuka flower. Okay. So let's sort of get some ideas on that. So in order to add some Manuka flowers, so you've got to stop thinking realism here. You've got to think um, stylized, caricature, whimsical, okay? And so I'm thinking, well, okay, so here's our Monica flower. And so my take on that, so you've got a star, right? You've got a star. So stars are shaped like that, okay, and that doesn't matter if they're too big, doesn't matter. Let's just try this out, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this or not. So far I'm liking that, and yeah. So rub that out and then you've got more of your manuka flower I really like that and yes the flower is a lot larger than the leaves but that's the impression you get with the manuka anyway so 
maybe putting a few flowers here and there taking full advantage of those leaf leafy areas and if there's a branch there all goods just add a few flowers here and there small big ones all sorts of sizes so that's what I would suggest all right so just to try and save on a bit of confusion I'll just rub those lines out so we can see our manuka flower flower beautiful flower and even beautiful when it's a manuka honey one of the best in the world of course um yeah I'm, I'm really liking that put some more leaf in there I think I'll just add some more leafy bits there I'm not going to add too many of those flowers but like it's just something there to give that impression oh okay yep that's a manuka tree and let people relate to that I like the fact that I'm doing overly sized too as well I like that okay and there 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 and there and then the circle so you can put um, fill in the little details later on I'm thinking maybe I can bring some more interest by adding that because if you've been to a manuka bush they're quite a small trees like the New Zealand ones not overly large trees we used to cut them back a lot um, to rejuvenate the new growth so I think I'll put a flower here can do is um, add a few of the seeds in so the manuka seeds now they look a little different to the manuka flower but it's the middle piece so if, as you can see there's the seeds there Fano. so you can put a few seed pods in there if you like there's the beginning of them right there a little pod there so entirely up to you um, I'm probably going to add a few little seed pods as well in there so maybe um, one there so it kind of looks like a like an acorn shape Okay, um, I'll leave those.
Okay, dokey. Right. So. Put another mound there. And. Okie dokes, that looks good. Alright, so let's move further along here and start getting into the horse bit. So I want to draw um, a horse here on this page. So I'm looking at doing something similar to that horse there and riding the horse. So I'll do something similar to that. But I might turn her that way, going towards that way. Okay. So how's about this picture? It's a pretty cool picture picture there of someone sitting on a horse so it gives you an idea of the shapes you can use for your horse um, so in this picture I've opted to keep, make the horse more look more like a pony as opposed to a horse so you could do that this is whimsical nothing needs to make sense um, and of course there's no animals harmed in this particular action all right so what I see using the U technique okay is a big fairly big U okay not a very deep U but a big U there okay and then another U going this way, which will portray the neck of our hoiho. And then, um, because I want our, actually I'll make that a little bit longer, because I want our hoiho to start putting its neck down this way. So another short one, okay, another short one and then another U for the actual head. So I'm hoping that I've got those essential elements in there for the horse, okay. And so we've got the legs. One leg there. One leg there. And one leg there. And one leg there. Okay, so that gives us our general shape of the horse. So, with this neck here, I want to sort of bring it around like so and add those curves there and then get rid of all those lines. Okay, and give us our horse. Head, or should I say neck, and then and 
もう一回からいいやいいやいいやいいや Okay, so all coming together finally. There we go. So if you think your neck is a bit too much there, you can always make it smaller like that, just to make it make the horse a bit more um, proportioned, perhaps. And that also gives the horse a bit more um, well, the person who's going to ride the horse a bit more leeway to as well to lean up against the horse. Fixing these feet up, making them look more like a horse. Here we go. So I might make the body a little bit bigger um, just to get the proportions right with the neck and stuff. Just do that. Pull these lines out so we can see what's really going on there. Looks like a bit of a sad looking horse, doesn't it? But I quite like his character. All birds. Right, so let's look at the tail. Here's the tail. Um, so the horse has got quite an arch in its back, so I better do that. do that for this horse. Alright, so let's start getting that person here. So we want someone sitting sort of here. And that could be the back side there. Sitting here. And then leg here. Foot there. Um, and then head there, so yep, okay, so. Let's do a U for the body, a U for the face, is the neck, nose, oh dear. Nose in. Get our iron. 
another iron. A U, another U here. And then you've got your hands you need to do. So you're getting it, Fano? I might actually make her looking at the horse. See, I'll probably do a him. Let's change this to a male person. There's the other arm. There's the main arm. Then the hand here. There we go. Got your hand there. Never this is what and his feet. Here we go. Getting there. Um, let's have him with some bit of curly hair. Okay. There we go. Let's like rub out all the lines so we can see our picture a bit better. Get a more of a visual look at where we're at. There we go. That. Sorted. Like so, bring it all the way up here. Get him wearing a nice T-shirt. There we go. That's looking really good. Okay, finally. Just like that. Okay. Now, sort this face out a bit. Mm 
we go. Nice young boy, young man riding a horse. Okay, so that's our young man on the horse. Um, do some a mane for the horse. I want it whimsical, so I'll do that. Ah, there we go. Here a bit. Like so. Okay, let's try to get in the space here. actually get the horse to look the same way maybe see what that looks like oh yeah I quite like that all right that's cool okay the old trotters there I'm just fixing the proportion of my horse. can think now what else can I add in this picture so um, I might actually put Sun here so I want to put a, something like a Sun here with a face I'm going to do for mine. The sun there.
Okay, that's cool. All right, so you can think now what else can you add there? Um, we can add some birds. Like, let's add some birds. What kind of birds would you normally see? I know where I was living. We had um, quite a lot of those um, minor birds. We had, um, in, in regards to native birds, we had a lot of fantails. Okay? So we had a lot of fantail birds. So maybe we can um, put a fantail on top of the horse, you know? So I'm thinking this position would be cool if we had that little fantail on, on the back of that horse there, okay? So in saying that, I'll put, put our ref, my reference here and I'm going to go for it. So, um, you, there's a you, and then there's another you this way. Okay. think that big might be, might be a bit much that big there's the U Put the tail, I want to make it very whimsical, so just having that, like that, and then another U here, another U here for the wing, and then having some more of that coming through there. Okay, finally. So that's kind of my rendition of our, um, our bird. And that is our painter. Just fix this up a bit because um, it's kind of shorter there and then it starts panning out a lot longer there. Okay. And then you've got that.
There we go. Really happy with that, actually. Um, I might sort of make the tail a bit. There we go. Very good. So that's our fan tail. And you're probably going to do a lot better than I, I have. put some um, random flowers in there let's maybe we have we have a lot of um, what we call they're actually called thistles so these are what you call um, bull thistles okay finally that's what those are called so we're gonna do some of those in the picture not a lot maybe one or two something like that um, especially with them flowering they look pretty cool I remember when I was um, younger we used to um, strip those um, head bits here so these bits here, we used to strip them down, take the flower out and stuff like that. And uh, in the middle there, you've got these sort of things that look like a, nuts a bit. And so you, when you eat them, they, they're actually like a nut. So, yeah. I'll do where I want to have my things actually no, that doesn't look right uh, this is what I would do anyway um, just to make it look like it's a thistle. You don't have to have a lot. It just gives you the impression that this, this is what the strange looking thing is. And then you've got these sort of um, crazy looking leaves like this that I would probably kind of like a and they're just as prickly too so all right yep so for the flower I would just do that with flour. Probably do one more here at the end here. Just will keep working at it.
I just keep working at it. Like so. Yep. So, um, I might actually put some mountains in the back. that so you can add some more flowers if you would like to do that so I might add um, yeah just some of these other random flowers More random flowers. And some leaves dropping on the ground. And also some on the ground. I'd like to put some of those in there as well. leaves dropping from the trees some more random flowers here um, more leaves and Some more leaves here. I want to sort of bring the leaves into here as well. Just over here. Into this area. So I'm thinking uh, in autumn. So autumn. Looking at leaves dropping off trees. Things like that. Yeah, so I'm happy. I'm actually happy with that. So I'm going to stop there. And then we're going to come back and paint that. Am I right, Barno? And do what we need to do to um, make that look really good. Okay? Alright, kaki deck.